or staying with educational matters, the National Board for Technical Education has said that Nigeria can transform its polytechnic system into a dynamic engine of innovation when entrepreneurship courses, incubator and accelerator programs, among other initiatives, are infused into learning in schools. NBTE's Executive Secretary, Professor Idris Bugaji, made this known at the Ogun State Institute of Technology, Igbesa, Ogun State. Details now. It's the first annual academic lecture of the institution, with the theme fostering Nigeria's technological advancement through a viral polytechnic system. The rector of the institution, Dr. Abiodun Olusheye, sets the tone for the lecture. In his remarks, he says technological education remains the surest way for the country to attain technological advancement. There is no in saying the fact that technological education remains the surest way for the country to attain technological advancement and industrial growth. Instead of looking down on the polytechnic system, the sector should be wired to be the hub of Nigeria's much desired development. Setting out to China's meteoric rise was its conversion of over 500 universities to polytechnics. The theme of this lecture, therefore, should command sincere attention from the government, the industry, the polytechnic administrators, and of course other stakeholders. We will be failing in our responsibilities if our product does not meet up with the contemporary realities and help solve current societal challenges. Delivering his lecture, NBTE's executive secretary, represented by Professor Bashir Hassan, says many Nigerian polytechnics face inadequate infrastructure, outdated equipment which hinders their ability to provide quality education and training. He however notes that a strong polytechnic system can foster a culture of innovation and research. And it's need for us to integrate the industry needs into our emerging, uh, emerging technologies into our curriculum. In simple terms, what it means is that the curriculum we are using to teach you needs to be reviewed from time to time, and while we are reviewing it, we need to understand what exactly the industry needs. There is need for strong synergy, there is need for strong collaboration between the industry and the academia, otherwise we are going to have skills gap. All these skills gap that you've been hearing be mentioned is a result of the disconnect between what is happening in the industry and what is happening in the classroom and the academia. So entrepreneurial courses are very key because it integrates entrepreneurship courses into the curriculum to teach students about business planning, marketing, finance and other essential entrepreneurship skills. We also have the issue of incubator and accelerator programs. We also have the issue of innovation, innovation competitions. You see, if you are innovative and you know there is a place where you can go and compete, you will always want to struggle to invent something so that you participate in this competition. This is very important and it allows uh, competitiveness among students and also staff that are overseeing and monitoring and supervising the students. A thriving for technical system will empower graduates to become leading innovators, entrepreneurs and skilled professionals ensuring a sustainable and prospective future for Nigeria. No doubt a revitalized polytechnic system holds the key to driving Nigeria's economic growth. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.